I'm Carolina Eich, I play the theremin, and in this lesson series I'm showing you how you can learn to play a major scale on the theremin in 12 simple steps using the theremin technique that I developed. This is lesson number 9. If this is the first video you're watching, you might want to go back and start with lesson 1 first. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description below. Theremin Lesson 9, Finger Position 7 and 6. Today we're going to learn Finger Position 7 and 6. First of all, make sure you have tuned your theremin, your field, to your hand, so you have the octave within pink Finger Position 8 and 1. Okay, let's go to Position 8. If we imagine the scale, then we know from 8 to 7, or octave to the major 7th, is just a half step, a half note. So we don't need to move our fingers very much. We just make a small movement until we reach finger position 7. And you can try what feels best for you, because maybe you want to move all your fingers at the same time, or maybe you just want to move um, the ring finger and the little finger. Um, I like to move only the ring finger and the little finger and keep my middle finger straight. That's just something I do and it feel com feels comfortable to me, but just check what feels best to you. So now let's go back and for forth between position 8 and 7. First in legato, tie all the notes together. And then let's separate them so we can remember the feeling without listening to the sound. Now when you feel comfortable with that, let's add finger position 6. Now remember between 7 and 6, between the major 7th and the major 6th, it's a whole step. So the movement will be a bit bigger between 7 and 6 than between 8 and 7. So let's start from 8 again. Now when you go to 6, make sure that your fingers are nicely curled like this. You don't crunch them together, but there's a little bit of space so that later you will reach your position 5 the same way. So let's go one more time. 8, 7, 6. First, tie all notes together and then separate them. And now let's try to go 8, 7, 6, 8. So we skip the 7 on the way up. Again, you can do this first in legato and then separate the notes. Let's go all the way down to position 5. That position we know already. Let's just go 8, 7, 6, 5. Again, legato, separated notes. The separation of notes helps that you have to feel and think where you're going to go with your hand beforehand. You can't cheat, right? Because you will hear the note only when you then play it. Now you can do some combinations here, some exercises. Just go back and forth between the positions. I will play some for you. First one, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, seven. Six, five, six. And then up again. Different exercise could be eight, seven, six, eight, seven, six, five, seven. So just Come up with your own exercises as well. You can do different combinations just to really get comfortable with these four positions um, before we then later move on. 
That's all for today. If you want to learn more about how to use your left hand for these exercises, you're very welcome to sign up for an online lesson with me. Until next time, practice these exercises we did today. You can even come up with your own exercises just using finger position 8, 7, 6 and 5. Learning an instrument is never easy. And of course, this is just an introduction to the theremin technique. But if you want to learn more techniques in depth, I recommend you to buy my theremin method book. You can find the link in the description of this video. In the next lesson, you're going to learn finger position three. I will see you then. Mm -hmm.